So today, we're doing the Mars missions, or attempting them. If you haven't been here, we're trying to complete all of Space Flight Simulator's challenges in realistic mode, and we've done Earth and the Moon, even though it didn't give me the Moon tour, but I did it, so I'm counting it. I landed on three landmarks and got home safely, so I'm counting that. And the challenge is complete all of the challenges in realistic mode by the end of the year, or I have to do a 24-hour stream. So there's not individual, oh no, there is, there is Phobos of Deimos, but Mars Grand Tour is supposedly bugged. Land on Mars, Phobos of Deimos in one flight, then return safely. That's gonna be really hard. Hey Jim, I just time traveled, you will succeed. Let's go. You can probably do Mars Grand Tour if you use orbital construction. Yeah, so I'm thinking we build like a massive space station in Earth orbit and then send the space station to Mars, land on Mars, land on Phobos, land on Deimos, send just a small piece of that space station home. That I think is gonna be our plan for today. So this is what we used for the moon and it wasn't enough. So I'm thinking we could redesign the top of this to be like our space station. So something like this into orbit, just to be completely safe, I'm gonna add this little launch gauge to get us going off the ground. Your rockets are so ugly. Hey, they work, don't they? And I want, these aren't the most efficient engines. I want whatever engine is the most efficient. Maybe we even go ion engines. Iron engines are too weak. Irons will suck with that amount of mass. Yeah, I think you're right. So we do this. Let's get this into orbit and see how it goes. You can't dock or it will void the mission. Yeah, but I'm going to dock because I think it would be impossible to not. Dib, can you try to make your rockets look good? Okay, okay, fine. Watch this. Uh, I made it look good. This doesn't look bad. I guess maybe this top could have a fairing or something. Top 10 most cooked rockets. It's not that ugly, especially if you take out this bottom part. Like that looks pretty good. Already making it to space is a good sign. Break the side boosters off. All right, this should be our orbital stage. Definitely will make orbit. Yeah, it will, but I'm just hoping I don't have to dip into this stage at all. Oh wait, this is perfect. Look, we use like all of this stage, but that is a, that's exactly what I wanted. So now we need to send up more pieces to attach to this. I'm thinking to be safe on fuel, we could launch this exact same rocket two more times and attach it on the sides here. And then maybe the front here, we dock and we put our landers. Maybe we could cut these out to save some weight. And just in case, what's like our lightest engine? This, just put this on it to maneuver, I guess. This is the ugliest rocket I've ever seen. Bro, anytime I build a rocket, all right, there we go um, with a good amount of fuel left over. So I want to do this one more time and get it on the other side and then build a lander section to go up here. And then I think we're ready for Mars. There we go. Very ugly space station. Thank you. Tried, tried my hardest. So we need to replace this with our lander, which we're going to need a pod. Let's use the Redstone Atlas pod. Because this has a parachute and a heat shield built in, which allows us to put a docking port up here. And then for our lander, we do have a small atmosphere. Is heat something we're worried about? Probably. We probably do want a heat shield. The camera! The lander is short and stubby, and that's funny, so I like it. We'll look at Apollo landers. Wider base. We're definitely going to want these. I want a heat shield and parachutes, if possible. Okay, I'm thinking this, but... Oh, we definitely want RCS. So... And then obviously we gotta make this look nice. All black, except this one is orange. And you guys said my rockets are ugly. And then for a heat shield, they break off by themselves, right? Like, can I, I can just click on it to detach it, right? Yeah, but I think you need to add fairings. Fairings are just for looks. This is aerodynamic enough. Fairings are not for looks. Yes, they are. Or if it's really unaerodynamic, there's a point. It will work. Should be able to see it now. There it is. All right, if space station is complete, yes. Okay, now what we're gonna do is clear debris and get ourselves into a transfer window with Mars. Bro! If the lander ends up not working, just use cheats and cut it out in the YT video. <laughs> no, I can't do that. All right, Mars, here we come. This takes so much fuel. I think I still underestimated how much fuel we're gonna need. Like getting back to is gonna be rough. Stacked ion engines might be the only way some of these missions especially the later ones are gonna be possible. Cause like the only option now is what, drain fuel out of the lander? That sounds like a terrible idea. And we want clockwise, cause it's going clockwise. All right, well, guess let's see what happens. Let's go to here. All right, let's see if we can get into orbit.
But we used like all of our fuel that we had planned just to get here. Kind of sucks. Make a copy of the space station to use as a refuel mission. Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna have to do. Oh, but this is the whole space station we built. So like to rebuild all of this is gonna take forever. Maybe we just build a ginormous rocket to refuel this. Cause I kind of don't want to build a whole space station again. Oh, and there goes the camera, dude. Ditch the side tankers, you don't need them anymore. That's, that's true. So we need to launch something to dock onto here to refuel it, which means we're gonna need a huge rocket. Yeah, this is overkill. Realistic mode is crazy, bro. I thought our space station was overkill for like getting to Mars and getting to orbit. No, we used all the fuel. No such thing as overkill in realistic mode. All right, this is looking pretty good. 72% fuel left. This is exactly what we needed from this mission. And this is a massive fuel tank on here. Yay, docked. That's my face right now. I'm making that exact face and I haven't moved at all. Good news is they should have enough to fully refuel both of these. And 30% fuel left. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go for a landing. So the plan is break off this lander, land on Mars safely, get back into orbit, redock here. That's our current little mission. And then we're going to refuel it and try to go to Phobos and Deimos and such. That seems pretty low, especially like here. I'm going to leave it. All right, let's time warp. Using Mars's atmosphere to slow us down is very helpful to save fuel. And it's also not such a thick atmosphere that relaunching out is a nightmare like Venus. Like we're not going to slow down. No, 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 no. Stupid, stupid song. 450? Okay, let me try one more time. I'm gonna go straight retrograde and then parachute as soon as I can. Go. Nice. Oh. Oh, I'm in 5x speed, no wonder. Landed! Now I have to get back. Oh, we're not gonna have enough fuel, dude. Once we get out of the lower atmosphere, it should be... Okay. Ooh. Okay, lock in. I'm gonna need to burn horizontally to... Well, I guess vertically from this point of view, but to get us into orbit and then redot with 22% fuel. Come on, we're so close. Oh, we're not gonna make it. It's doable! Oh, my camera's been out. How long has that happened? I think if I launch better, it'll work. Come on, 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 come on. It's so close. There it is, there it is. Okay. Orbit! Orbit! Rendezvous here, and their orbits are almost lined up, so this should be a pretty easy dock. It's the core. There's still fuel in it. Not yet. I will eventually. Or actually, here, look. Transfer this back into this. Enough fuel in here to refuel our lander multiple times. Get it to all the things, and get us home, I think. That was a rough mission. Should I raise my orbit to similar to Phobos for the space station, too? And then I'll do the rest with the lander. And then I'll do the same thing for Deimos because then we'll already have a high orbit going home. Like I don't want to be in its SOI, so that should be good. And then undock, navigate to Phobos. I think clockwise is slightly better. I don't think it matters too much though. Open these legs and just slow down a bit. It should be pretty easy. Mars was definitely the hard part. Yeah, like look at our relative velocity, 26. Just need the game to count it. Landed on Phobos. All right, pretty easy. Now we're going to raise our orbit once again. So now we do the same thing. Make sure this is full. Undock. So far, the Mars isn't too bad. Ion engine stacking with that fat fuel tank is what saved this mission. So for our future base stations we're sending, let's add that every time. This should be a pretty easy transfer too. Yeah, 18 meters a second. Yeah, this feels like nothing compared to the Mars, landing on Mars. That was so stressful. I could almost not even do anything and still, I would probably still alive, be alive, maybe break a landing leg. No, camera. There is Deimos. We're like flying off. Okay, I gotta get, yeah, landed on the surface of Deimos. All right, now we get this back and go home. We bring in this one home, boys. We miss home. I'm going to transfer all this fuel back into here. 44, that makes it. 
for sure. And then we can break this off. And this is the only thing that needs to return, technically. Now we get a, in a transfer with Earth. I was very worried about this whole series, realistic mode series, after the moon uh, missions. But honestly, not that bad. Once we got over here to Mars and had fuel, not that bad. And that was our burn. So there's Mars. We're leaving Mars. And the sun's going to pull us around. And we're going to meet up perfectly with Earth right there. All right, that's probably good. So now we are going to undock, switch to this, destroy this, do this, and then prepare to enter the atmosphere. After three hours of work, let's see if it all pays off. We're going 10,000 meters a second, which is 10 kilometers a second. It's very fast. And we made it through the atmosphere without burning up. Huge. There goes the parachute. And there's the surface. The grass, yeah! Let's go! That was a cool mission. I like that one. Deimos landing, Mars landing, Phobos landing. Not Mars Grand Tour, but the requirement for Mars Grand Tour is to do all of these in one mission, which what did I just do? We did it. We did it. Thank you all for being here. And if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe and click the link in the description to come to the Twitch and see this stuff live. Who knows, I might be live doing the Jupiter 4 as you're seeing this on YouTube. So go check.